Hola. So as you can see, it's super laid back here. Yeah, it's very much like a hippie town as well too, which is pretty cool. You got these bits of street art everywhere. Really cool. Today's Sunday as well too, so there's even less people out and about. And like I said, the weather's not great. As you can see, it's kind of gray. Um, but hopefully we can get some level of a sunset. We'll go down to the beach after. I'm headed in the opposite direction right now so I can show you the town. Like I said, just look at all the street art. Great vibes all around for sure. There's some nice restaurants and uh, nice nature as well too. So this is near the uh, Tayrona National Park, which is super famous for uh, it's like jungle areas and hiking and beaches. But if you come to Palomino, you sort of get the same vibe, but uh, you don't have to pay the 60,000 peso entrance fee. Um, and then I'm going to go to Minca as well too, which is uh, like up into the mountains in the Sierra Nevada mountains. So you sort of get the experience of both without paying the entrance fee, which is really, really nice in my opinion, because I'm trying to do things as cheaply as possible, as always. As you can see, it's a very, uh, I don't know, touristy might not be the right word, but they're definitely catering to uh, a traveler for sure. catering to guys like this in their flowery shirts. It's a cool hostel. So as you can see, there's people selling a bunch of handmade stuff. There's tiny little like local restaurants. And then there's more like touristy restaurants and, like with Western food, pizza, cafes, stuff like that. Uh, so it's a good mix. I definitely like it here. I guess this place was pretty unknown in Colombia for tourists for quite a while. And there was really no infrastructure here, but over the past few years it started to get uh, uh, like a lot more tourists coming through here so when people come and travel in like the Caribbean side of Colombia this is a place that's starting to get very popular for people to come and even get a tattoo these guys might more art over here as well. <laughs> Hola! <laughs> Looks like there's even a barber shop over there. And I really need one actually. What do you guys think? Should I keep it? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I will be getting another shave at my uh, earliest convenience for sure. But that'll be another video. Getting shaved in Colombia. That'll be either the fifth or sixth country that I've been shaved in, which is pretty cool, honestly. It's always a fun experience. So the essence of the hippie culture is definitely here. And uh, that essence is marijuana. <laughs> you can smell it everywhere. Maybe I should track some down. <laughs> uh, maybe not. I'm gonna come track down a beer though. Give me one second, I'll be right back. So that was super easy, it took about 10 seconds and I got this beer. Club Columbia Red. Haven't had it before. Typical beer here is uh, Aguila. It's not great. So I thought I'd go for something a little bit different. Just up over here. Across the street. 
street is this restaurant that I've eaten at uh, three or four times now. Super good food. Hola amigo. Como estas? Uh, in. It's uh, for YouTube. Video for uh, YouTube. YouTube, yeah. yeah. Super good food and super nice guy. He remembered me from the first night when I came and uh, drank a beer and watched uh, the Columbia football slash soccer game. So I've eaten there a few times. He's such a nice guy and everything's about uh, like 15 to 20,000 pesos and you get a ton of food. So really, really nice. Really cool sign there just showing like all the different shops and hostels and stuff in uh, Palomino. Really artistic, I like that a lot. Shop here selling all kinds of different shirts and stuff. Hola. If you want a flowery shirt, this is the place to come. And I do indeed like a nice colorful flowery shirt. Same with like beautiful handmade jewelry and like those necklaces with different rocks and stuff, crystals. If you like that hippie stuff, this is the place for sure. I say that like I don't. I like hippie stuff as well too. <laughs> and like it's been relatively cheap here as well too. Even here you have tacos for 5,000 which is just over a dollar per taco. It's not amazingly cheap but honestly for like a beach town normally the prices go like up by a lot so so this is all kind of the same area that i just walked through uh, but we're headed back down towards the beach and if you walk all the way down the beach hola <laughs> oh we're coming here Hey, it's free to look. Uh, you speak sp Spanish? I don't speak Spanish, no. No? English. English? <laughs> yeah, English, sorry. Spanglish? Spanglish, Spanglish, sure, Spanglish. sure. Maybe a little Spanglish. How, how, uh, there how, we go. How. It's for uh, how YouTube. Long. It's free to look, man. It's free to look, okay. Yeah, That's good because I have no a, money. Uh, only handmade. <laughs> handmade. Oh, they're uh, very nice. Only beer. Only beer. <laughs> from beer, for drugs, for only for, <laughs> for, for, for enjoy. Okay, for good. Good. Now, what I'm going to do is you see, do you want support, support work? Sure. Wow. Mm, nice. Okay. Very good, very good. We have time everything. Oh, very good. All right. They're very nice things. Great. Yeah. Oh, you're going to make me something for free. Yeah. Handmade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Stay mumming. I'm also speaking mundial. Music connection. Where is it? Yeah, oh, music. Yeah. Beautiful. M music connection. G. The name is Glenn. Yeah. This G. Hey, but, uh, G. <laughs> music connection, man. I love music. Go in here. All right, there you go. And some ice cream. <laughs> Not normally like a big ice cream fan, but I'm kind of craving some. Maybe I'll go get some later. I also got this little, I don't know what it is. He said it was something to do with music. Can't read music though, because I'm a drummer. <laughs> Ours is way different. I don't know what it is. I think he said something about a G. Maybe it's the G note. I don't know. Suits me well though. I like music and I'm a G. <laughs> Uh, I can't even say that with straight face. Anyway, all right. Well, that was a fun little interaction there for sure. These guys were very, very drunk. Right, we're on the road to the beach now. And it's still just shops and restaurants and hostels. It's typical kind of stuff that you'd expect to find on the main street. Some beautiful things though, honestly. 
They're not selling like tacky sort of crap that you usually find in like really touristy places. It's actually like really nice handmade stuff. So that's a big plus for sure. Maybe they're playing football over there. I might have to join in, but they're not. So I'm gonna to attempt to walk down the beach towards the river. Um, don't know if I'm gonna have a lot of time to do that. The sun sets around six, it's about 5.30 right now, so. <laughs> this man back here really wants to be in the video. As I always say, I think they think they're gonna be like famous or something. They're not. <laughs> anyway, I am gonna to try to walk down because there's basically a river that runs through, well, around Palomino. And, okay, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> Getting distracted. There's a river that runs kind of around or through Palomino and it goes right into the ocean here. So you can actually walk to the spot where the river meets the ocean, which is really, really cool. Uh, but it is a bit of a walk up the beach, so I'll see how far I can get. If it starts getting dark, I'll just turn around. Um, I would like to get there though, because like I said, I don't know how much of a sunset there's gonna be. And I want to have at least one kind of cool thing for this video, other than just me rambling on these streets. <laughs> I'll at least be able to drink a beer and watch the ocean. The ocean here as well too is very like, uh, it's pretty rough. I wouldn't want to swim in it, that's for sure. But there's a lot of people doing surfing, so if you're into surfing this could be a good spot to come. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera away and uh, I'll see you guys when I get to the beach. Here we are. So the beach here is actually not too bad. It's quite clean. Some places that you can sit without having to pay. Uh, it's not the nicest beach that you're gonna find, of course, but it is really, really beautiful. And when it's not cloudy, the views are stunning. The best part about coming down to this part of the beach as well, too, is that uh, between like the public beach there and the beach area where the river meets the ocean, there's like nobody, uh, unless they're walking between the two places like me. So you can find some places all to yourself for sure, which uh, you know I really, really like. And uh, Yeah, when I come out here, I feel like I would just love to do some more like adventurous kind of stuff, like camping on a beach sometime or uh, stuff like that. So let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing videos like that. I think I'd be, uh, I'd be down to try it out. I definitely don't mean doing like Survivor Man style stuff because I'm not equipped for that whatsoever. I have zero survival skills, but uh, I would like to do some more adventurous stuff. Like I said, get a hammock and camp on some like sort of deserted beach, but I'll bring food and water, you know, stuff like that. Or I'd like to do like hitchhiking around Europe or cycling around Europe, uh, van camping in Iceland, you know, more adventurous stuff like that. So if you guys would be interested in content like that, let me know, because uh, I'll definitely make it happen in the future. I don't know when, but uh, it would definitely be a thought for sure. So yeah, let me know. Okay. So we've reached a bit of an impasse here. When I came the last time, the tide wasn't as high, so I was able to just walk down around that way. But I guess we're gonna have to go through here. Jesus, this boat got hit in the face with a branch. Seems to me, every time I try to do something, it turns into a bit more of an adventure than it normally should be. <laughs> it's all right though. It's half the fun, really. Not 
easy to do this kind of stuff with one hand, you know. It's the day in the life of filming. <laughs> we are a sandy, sandy bunch now. It is the beach though, so what can you expect? So in order to get to the river, we have to go through a gauntlet of restaurants. Which are gonna try to make me come drink and eat with them. Which I'm not going to do. But they're gonna try their best anyways. Alright, so luckily the restaurants were shut. So I didn't even have to tell them no. And this whole area when I was here before was full of like tents and chairs and all kinds of different stuff. So I guess because it's Sunday and also like nobody's really sunbathing in this kind of weather because there's no sun. So but this is really cool. So you got the Caribbean Sea. And you've got the river here. I don't remember the name of it, but I'll make sure that I put it below. And dip my feet in and try to wash off some of the sand. It's a very beautiful area though. Truly amazing. Um, I was thinking about uh, having my beer back that way, but I might actually stay here because this view is pretty stunning. And if there's no view of the sunset, it's not really important to be looking that way, so I can just enjoy this. I don't know what this thing is here, but I'm going to sit on it. It's like an old door. So I don't get too sandy. Oh, it's really wet though. Better than being sandy, at least you can dry off. Sand, you can never get rid of. This is amazing. And honestly, like the clouds, that sort of like misty atmosphere, I love that. And there's maybe 15 people, if that. Definitely the right decision. It was maybe only like a 10 or 15 minute walk as well too, so I can make that back in the dark for sure. I mean, not like the complete dark, but as it starts getting dark, let's bust out the beer then. I just don't want my bag to get too wet, but at this point it really doesn't matter, does it? There we go, let's try this, what is it? Club Columbia Roja. I do like a red ale. And honestly, anything's better than an Aguila, so I'll take it. I'm trying to do this with one hand is not easy. Let's try it out. Cheers, guys. Welcome to Colombia. bad. Definitely better than the Aguila. I think this one would actually be good if I poured it into a glass, but <sighs> we, we don't have one. So I made friends with some locals despite the fact that they don't really speak English and my Spanish sucks. Um, and we also met the uh, Colombian Sasquatch over here. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what he's on about, but he looks king crazy. <laughs> he came over to me, he's like, do you speak English, German, French, Spanish? I was just like, ah, oh, yeah, English. And then he just starts speaking to me in Spanish and he's got these crazy eyes. It's so funny. <laughs> it was peaceful while it lasted. 
area is still beautiful. I'm gonna finish my beer and head out, I think. <laughs> All right, it's starting to get dark, so we're headed back. <laughs> that was an interesting turn of events, to say the least. I met these four people from Colombia, super, super nice people, and uh, tried to chat with them a little bit. I told them I didn't really speak much Spanish. The guy spoke a little bit of English, so we uh, made it work. And then this dude just seems to come out of nowhere, basically. <laughs> and it was that crazy looking blonde guy. <laughs> and like I said, he just comes over and he's like, oh, what language do you speak? And I say it English, and they start just rambling to me in Spanish with these crazy, crazy eyes. And he's like the hairiest man I've ever seen in my life as well, too. He's got like chest hair and back hair. They're like this far off his body. Looks like Colombian Sasquatch. So I had literally no response for the guy. I just started laughing. And like I showed you that little clip there. Um, but if it doesn't come out very good, I have a photo of him as well, too, that I'll put in right now. If you're gonna meet a guy like that, this is the place that you're gonna meet him though, for sure. That's like typical Palomino dude came to the beach and never left sort of vibe. <laughs> I don't even know if he's Colombian, but uh, he speaks pretty good Spanish and whatever. He's, he's Colombian now. But anyway, today was, oh, I suppose I stepped on a crab. <laughs> anyway, today was super random. Uh, is kind of wandering around, showing the town, showing the beach. I'm sorry that we didn't get much of a sunset today, um, but there'll be plenty of sunsets in the future, I'm sure. So I'm going to head back now. I'm not going to bore you with the walk back. You've already seen it. And uh, I just want to get back before it gets dark. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Cheers, and I'll see you in the next one.